Let us pray. Dear God, we pray this morning as a collective body of students, faculty, staff, parents, family, and community with thankful hearts and willing minds that you bless this Honors Convocation program and all who are present in this moment to recognize the scholastic achievements of our Lemoyne Owen College scholars. We thank you for how you've kept them and covered them in all situations and through each assigned task and every scheduled test and exam. They have not only prevailed, but yet they have excelled. We recognize that this moment of celebration would not be possible without your sustaining love and will towards us. So we say thank you and we ask your blessings upon this celebration as we recognize those who have demonstrated academic excellence. In your excellent name, we pray and say, amen. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you guys have had a lovely week thus far. We are excited that all of you have joined us. We're excited that all of you have joined us for this wonderful occasion. Right now, we're going to have Ms. Tadiwa Mashora to come up, and we're going to ask that everyone joins her in singing the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Greetings. My name is Tadiwa Mashora a sophomore majoring in computer science here at the Limon Owen College. I'm currently serving as the SGA chaplain for the 2023 to 2024 academic school year. Shall all rise up as we sing the National Black Anthem. Lift every voice and sing. <laughs> Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, there are some seats still available downstairs. So if you guys would come on downstairs and join us. Next, we will have Ms. Danielle Jacobin, who serves as our current SGA president to bring us the greetings. Followed by Ms. Jathan, we will have Ms. Cheeto Chimpatete to bring us our occasion. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. Good morning, everyone. I am Danielle Jathan, and I currently serve as your SGA president for the 2023 to 2024 academic school year. On behalf of the students, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 2024 Honors Convocation. Today is all about scholarship, excellence, and the journey many of us have taken to reach this milestone. We are happy that you chose to celebrate with us, and we hope that you will continue to cheer us on as we proceed to graduation or on to the next academic school year. Many of you know the challenges and struggles that we endure to make it to this point. And so, we thank the faculty and staff for their unwavering guidance and assistance. Le Moyne College has been a beacon of light that shines with hope of years to come. It also shines towards a path of possibilities. Dr. Hugh Gloucester, a 1929 graduate, one of the founders of the College Language Association and former president of Morehouse College, wrote the words for our alma mater. And these words speak most dearly to my heart. Lemoyne Owen College, thy banner there must stay, must never trail the dust. We pledge to thee fidelity or love or sacred trust. With that said, we can be a change agent through scholarship and excellence. We are delighted to have you here as we showcase the legacy of black excellence at its best. Enjoy the program. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. To the Honorable Mayor, Paul Young, our esteemed president, Dr. Christopher Davis, and his cabinet, the shepherd of this beloved Metropolitan Baptist Church, Dr. Michael Moore, and all the dignitaries, students, faculty, staff, families, and students, good morning. My name is Chido Chimbetete, and I am the president of the W.E.B. Du Bois Scholars Honors Program Dr. Du Bois was one of the founders of the NAACP and the prophetic author. Our honors program is named after him because he believed that African Americans striving for academic and intellectual success were among the talented 10th who would lead us towards success, leadership, and better economic opportunities. The elite group of students being recognized today are steps towards their journey of becoming the talented 10th. We will salute our W.E.B. Du Bois scholars and recognize our scholars who have been who have been achieved the president's and the dean's list. We will also recognize the Hollis F. Price Middle School High School for their commendable and excellent and excelling in high school for college classes. Lastly, our division chairs will recognize those students who have gone above and beyond in their study of their courses. This is the day to celebrate Lamar Owen College students who have exemplified academic excellence and black excellence at its best. Thank you. Next, we will have President Davis to come and give the charge to the scholars. Following President Davis's charge, we will have Mr. James Bolden, who serves as Mr. UNCF, to come up and give an induction of the introduction of the speaker. To Mary Young, members of the Board of Trustees who are present, our executive leadership team, faculty, staff, students, and parents, we say welcome. Honor students, fellow magicians, I congratulate you. You who have gone the extra mile, stayed up a little later, studied a bit harder, maybe even skipped a few parties to raise the bar of academic achievement. And for your energy, your effort, and your commitment to excellence, we are here to celebrate you. However, 
None of you here have done it alone. Each of you have had a community of connection, of encouragement and excellence, of family and friends, parents and partners, professors and mentors. So we honor them as well. As we celebrate your achievements, we're also reflecting on who we are, where we've been, and how we can continue to make magic together as an exceptional historically black college. No matter where you walk on our campus, you're bound to see the letters L-O-C. For those who casually pass by, those letters mean simply Lamont Owen College. But for those of us who live here, work here, study here, grow here, we know these three letters symbolize so much more. They speak to who we are and what makes us who we are. Leadership, opportunity, change. The Greek philosopher Heraclitus declared that in life, the only constant is change. And certainly you have witnessed your fair share of change over the course of your academic journey. With commencement just a few weeks ago, a few weeks away rather, many of you all are getting ready to experience your first graduation because your high school graduation was upended by a worldwide pandemic. In the decade from middle school student to college student, or in the case of our Hollis Price students, your journey from elementary school to high school, you've seen much. Just to give you a few examples, 10 years ago, Barack Obama was just sworn in for his second term as president of these United States. Dr. Andrea Lewis Miller returned to her alma mater to become the first female president of Lamorne Owen College. No one had heard of TikTok or ChatGPT. And here at Lamorne Owen College, we were eagerly anticipating the opening of our brand new residence hall. Again, there has been considerable change. Technologies have changed. Platforms have changed. Political leaders, coaches, and presidents have changed but values have not. The fundamentals of excellence, achievement, and honor remain. It is those values that we're celebrating with you today. If we look at the definition of honor, we see it means much more than a simple high academic achievement or excellence. It means more than high esteem or praise. It means respect, integrity, and even service. These are the values that make our school great for there can be no honor, no lasting achievement without integrity. Yet integrity may also be difficult and challenging at times, for there often seems an easier way, a shortcut, a small lie, the omission of a minor detail, unacknowledged assistance on an assignment, or a sidestep to meet a requirement or a deadline. That's why integrity is such an essential duty for each of us. As honor students, you must be leaders, not only in academic achievement, but also integrity. A culture of integrity is tantamount to a culture of respect. And it is the combination of integrity and respect that fuels the pursuit of leadership, opportunity, and change. And so I say to you, leadership, opportunity, change has to be more than just our mantra. It has to be more than just a logo. It has to be more than just what we wear on our t-shirts. It has to be a personal and a professional commitment. It has to be the lens through which we filter every decision, every choice at Lamorne Owen College, at Hollis Price Middle College, and beyond. I started my remarks by mentioning the fluidity of change. And over the course of the 160 plus years, our college doors have been open, our country, our community, our campus has changed in some astonishing ways, but our values, our aspirations, and our honor remains the same. And so a decade or even a century from now, when our best and our brightest again gather to celebrate high academic achievement, and what seems cutting edge today will be considered archaic and outdated, our commitment to leadership, opportunity and change will hold essential and true. So let us go forward together in leadership and in service, in integrity and in excellence, in respect, achievement and honor. Again, congratulations to each of you.
Good morning, everyone. I will ask that you guys all give these scholars a round of applause real quick, please. <laughs> Mayor Paul Young was born and raised in Memphis. He and his wife, Dr. Jamila Smith Young, are Memphis natives and are raising their daughter and son, Zoe, who is 12, and Paxton, who is eight. He decided he wanted to rebuild Memphis, going on to study city and regional planning at the University of Memphis. Mayor Young, a longtime fixture in local government and his first time bid for political office, became the 65th mayor of Memphis in October of 2023. Growing up in the Oak Haven neighborhood, Young learned at an early age that there were two sides of Memphis, one ripe for opportunity and prosperity, and another lacking resources and safe neighborhoods. Young was named the CEO and the president of the Downtown Memphis Commission in 2021. He worked with the commission for the past 20 years as a city planner and engineer during his time planning to help rebuild Memphis, parts of Memphis. <clears throat> during his time working for the city of Memphis, the first affordable housing trust fund in the city was established and money was invested in Merrill High School and College Chapel. He worked with former Memphis mayor Jim Strickland for the past six years, both during his time working for the city and during his time with the downtown Memphis commission. Young pursued a career focused on building a Memphis that works for every resident. As the president of the downtown Michigan, uh, excuse me, as the president of the downtown Memphis Commission and the former director of housing and the community development, one of the key features of Young's campaign was that he never held public office. He campaigned on the promise of bringing jobs and strong economy to Memphis. Young also advocated for investing in youth and arts as well as rebuilding neighborhood communities. Young gained much popularity with moderates for his lack of political investment previously and gained popularity with young voters as one of the youngest of the mayoral candidates. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you all uh, Paul Young. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that great introduction. It's an honor to be here with you all. Thank you so much. Um, congratulations to all of those who are going into this next chapter. I'm excited for you. Um, uh, Memphis is really excited and inspired at what you mean to our community. Um, as the city's only HBCU, Lamont Owen College. Yeah, give it up for Lamont Owen College. Of which I'm a, I'm, I'm a recent uh, member of the Board of Trustees. I just left the board in January. And so this institution plays an important place in my heart. Um, and it's the only one, only HBCU in this city. Um, and it plays an important role for our community. Um, and as leaders of this institution, as honor students, you will be the ones that are the torchbearers of the narrative that we want to create for Lamont Owen College. Uh, you'll be the ones that are going to carry the Memphis story. So it's not just the college, but it's the city as a whole. Um, you're gonna be the one that's carrying the Memphis story into the world as you go into job interviews, as you go into graduate school classrooms or on boards or volunteer opportunities, you are going to be the ones that people experience. You're gonna be the Memphis that they know um, and you're gonna be that ambassador. And you're here today because you've already demonstrated that you have excellence within you, uh, excellence within your academic life. You've set goals and you've accomplished those goals. Uh, and I know that it wasn't easy. Uh, I'm not too far away from, well, I'm kind of far, but not too far away from my college days to where I can remember them. Uh, but what you've done to get here has made you better. Everything that you've experienced has brought you to this point. Um, and it's going to make you better as you go through uh, life. Um, you have to continue what you've done. Um, you have to keep those habits and those practices that have served you. And they're going to serve you in every role that you take on in the future. And I just want to let you know, in case it's a surprise to you, the world is not always going to be easy. Um, the world can be unforgiving. Um, but you have, you have something instilled in you that was born right here in this college, that work ethic. Um, and that is going to take you through. Work is work. You don't have to love it every day, but you got to do it. If you find a path that allows you to serve, and this is something I had to figure out, what is it that I can do where I feel like I'm doing something bigger than a job? If you can find an occupation, a job that allows you to do that, then it's not going to feel like work. <coughs> if you find a way to use your skills to make your community better, to make your home 
or your kids lives better your work then becomes a calling it becomes a call to serve and we have so much opportunity for service in our great city of memphis if you look out for it you will see it and i've said this before our city has recently been named the largest majority black city in the nation largest black majority black city in the nation <coughs> and one of the things that i'm really working to do thank you for that thank you sir uh, one of the things that i'm really working to do is make sure that we wear that as a badge of honor we know how the world often sees communities that are majority black it often comes with a connotation um you you you, auto, you automatically correlate it with crime or you correlate it with poverty. And what we want to say in Memphis is that's not who we are. Sure, it exists here, but that's not what should define our community. We have to change that narrative, and we want to associate our city with the positive attributes that we know to be true, um, that, that we are um, black excellence, that we have black wealth in our community, um, that we have a strong black culture and a soul and a spirit and a vibe that that can't be replicated other than being around african-american communities that's what we want to be associated with when they hear the blackest city in america i want them to think black wealth culture arts and that excellence that we're talking about and a and, and matter of fact when they hear it i want them to think of you because you are the black excellence that I am talking about. I want the world to know that Memphis is America's coolest city, that there's nobody else that has a vibe like us, that grit and grind vibe, it's real. That's who we are. We get it done. We are innovative, we're experimental, we're soulful. Culture is king here. Uh, and I want you all to lean into that cultural identity as you take into your next steps. Uh, as you walk into those job interviews, as you go into your graduate classrooms, I want you to decide what path you're going to walk and what purpose you are going to serve. And although our primary export, the thing that we send out to the world, is usually our culture, it's our music, our movement, our culinary arts, I'm going to ask you to help us keep a part of our culture here. The part of the culture that I want to keep here is you. I want you to stay in Memphis. And again, I'm going to ask you to stay because I want you to help us create the Memphis that we all want to see and the Memphis that we deserve. And I, I hope I'm making some of the mamas and, and daddies happy in here because I'm asking your children to stay here. But I'm saying it because really we do. Um, and I say this often to young people. Atlanta does not need you. Memphis, I mean, Atlanta does not need you. LA does not need you. New York does not need you. Memphis needs you. We need you to help take our city to the places that we know are possible. For many, many years, and those that have been in Memphis for a while know, we talk about all the potential that we have, that we had the potential to be the next this, the next that. In order for us to realize the potential, it's gonna take you. Um, we need you to stay. We need you to recruit your friends. We need you to stay here and create the future of tech, of transit, of workforce development, make the medical breakthroughs, open restaurants, open retail shops. We need you to join boards, use your voices for good. We want you to mentor and give back. We need you to run for office. We need you to be the next mayor of this city. We need you to stay and lean in to the truth that you want to actualize for our city. Let's make the largest majority black city in America the safest, the strongest, the cleanest, and the best city in America. <laughs> and lastly, let's make it home to the greatest graduating class of Lemoyne Owen College. Congratulations to each one of you, thank you.
Thank you, Mayor Young. I do agree. Scholars, we are asking you guys to stay in Memphis and help impact Memphis in a positive way. And I look forward to seeing all the wonderful things that you guys are going to accomplish here in the city of Memphis. Now, this brings us to the moment that we have all been waiting for. This is a moment that we are all gathered here for. It is time to recognize those students who have achieved outstanding academic excellence. Right now, I'm going to ask for all of the W.E.B. Du Bois scholars to stand. The W.E.B. Du Bois Honor students or scholars are definitely very special to this institution as well as everyone else here that is in this building as well as attend or are associated with Lamore Norn College. But they are definitely special because they are known as the talented 10th. So they are in the top percent of the entire student population and student body here at Lamore Norn College. So. <laughs> So scholars, we're going to call your name and you're going to come up and meet Ms. Stacy Smith and pose for just a second for a photo op. The first name is Cabriana Adams. Miss Brittany Burton. <laughs> Miss Destiny Carlock. Miss Cheeto Chim Batete. <laughs> Mr. Neville Chirera. Miss Lanisha Hunter. <laughs> Miss Danielle Jathan. Miss Cameron Knight. Mr. Albert Morove. <laughs> Ms. Ashanti 
Stewart. Thank you, W.E.B. Du Bois Scholars. Next, we will have the presentation of the President's List Scholars. I would ask, I would ask that if your name ends in A through E, please stand. A through E, please stand. Good morning to each of you. It is my distinct honor to present to you our President's List scholars, and for some, also a Dean's. But before we do that, I will give a description of who these individuals are. Our students who are on the President's List are students who have maintained a cumulative GPA of a 3.5 or greater, and have at least 28 credit hours at Lemoyne Owen College. This, of course, considers them to be a presence list scholar. These students are considered for this honor once a year at the end of the fall semester. Our first individual who is a president's list scholar, but also a dean's list scholar, is Cabriana Adams. <laughs> and as Cabriana comes to take her picture, it is also important for me to note what a Dean's List Scholar is, consists of. A Dean's List Scholar is a student who maintains a cumulative GPA of a 3.5 or greater and has at least, at least 12 credit hours at Lemoyne Owen College. These students that are considered for this honor will be recognized as a president and a Dean's, and some of course are just a president and some are just a Dean. Our next student is Era Anoma, who is a presence of scholar and a dean scholar. <laughs> Felicia Berry, president's list and dean's list. Curtis Lee Braden, president and dean. Acoria Brown, President and Dean Scholar. Brittany Burton, President and Dean's List Scholar. Chido Chimbetete, President and Dean's List Scholar. Amdu Diello, President and Dean's List Scholar. And as these scholars receive their awards, it's important to note that these students are a part of our, um, some of them are part of our W.B. Du Bois Scholars Program, but many of them are also student leaders on campus, and for that, they deserve an applause. Our next president and Dean's List Scholar is Amdu Diallo. <laughs> T 
Taisha Eddins, President and Dean's List Scholar. Devin Ellis, President and Dean's List Scholar. Sierra Gilkey, President and Dean's List Scholar. Keshana Harris, President and Dean's List Scholar. Kaylin Harris, President and Dean's List Scholar. Rodnisha Haynes, President and Dean's List Scholar. Antonio Henderson, President and Dean's List Scholar. Joya Harrington, President and Dean's List Scholar. Kendall Heron, President and Dean's List Scholar. Byron Hobbs, President and Dean's List Scholar. Stephen Huggins, President and Dean's List Scholar. Lanisha Hunter, President and Dean's List Scholar. Danielle Jathan, President and Dean's List Scholar. Carla Jean, President and Dean's List Scholar. President Scholar, Tadiwa Mashara. <laughs> President Scholar, Crystal Johnson. <laughs> President and Dean's List Scholar, Maya Johnson. President and Dean's List Scholar, Jeremy Kelly. <laughs> President Scholar, Cam, excuse me, President and Dean Scholar, Cameron Knight. <laughs> President and Dean's List Scholar, Brianna Lumpkin. President and Dean's List Scholar, Kelsey McNeil. <laughs> yeah, just recognize Miss UNCF. President and Dean's List Scholar, Tandy Mill. President and Dean's List Scholar, Davielle Moore. <laughs> President and Dean's List Scholar, Naja Moore.
President and Dean's List Scholar, Destiny Mule. No. Excuse me, and I'd like to pronounce that correctly, Destiny Mull. President and Dean's List Scholar, Albert Muro. <laughs> President Scholar, Teresa Norwood Jackson. <laughs> President and Dean's List Scholar, Rolissa Pat Patterson. President and Dean's List Scholar, Khalif Patterson. <laughs> President Scholar, Demetrius Peppers. <laughs> President and Dean's List Scholar, Tommy Pope. President and Dean's List Scholar, Ethel Rhodes. <laughs> President and Dean's List Scholar, excuse me, President Scholar, Mashadi Bashanti Sadler. President and Dean's List Scholar, Ashanti Stewart. <laughs> President and Dean's List Scholar, Charles Vaughn. President Scholar, D'Angelique Warren. <laughs> Excuse me, D'Angel Quick Warren, President Scholar. And as Mr. Warren is finishing his picture, let's give our President and Dean's List Scholars a round of applause. We will now move to our Dean's List Scholars. Kayla Banyan, Dean's List Scholar. Dean's List Scholar, Kevin Bland. <laughs> Dean's List Scholar, Cornisha Bowling. Dean's List Scholar, Kenneth Bradley. <laughs> Dean's List Scholar, Rashonda Brazel. <laughs> Dean's List Scholar, Antonio Bright.
Dean's List Scholar, Nikki Brittman. Dean's List Scholar, Adaja Brown. Dean's List Scholar, Kennedy Brownlee. Dean's List Scholar, Honesty Campbell. Dean's List Scholar, Lauren Kennedy. Dean's List Scholar, Indian Clay. Dean's List Scholar, Andrew Collins. Dean's List Scholar, Asia Davis. Dean's List Scholar, George Diaz. Dean's List Scholar, Kiera Dowell. Dean's List Scholar, Arnetta Evans. <laughs> Dean's List Scholar, Shakira Foster. <laughs> Dean's List Scholar, Taylor Frierson. Danielle Gibson, Dean List Scholar. Shakendra Gleeden, Dean's List Scholar. Morgan Grant, Dean's List Scholar. Dominique Greer, Dean's List Scholar. Voria Harris, Dean's List Scholar. Vori Harris, let's give it for Vori Harris. Thank you for that. Alexandria Harris, Dean's List Scholar. Courtney Gladney, Dean's List Scholar. Jaden Harris, Dean's List Scholar. Kelby Harvey, Dean's List Scholar. Angelique Hawkins, Dean's List Scholar. Pamela Helton, Dean's List Scholar. Otis Hicks, Dean's List Scholar. Christian Hogan, Dean's List Scholar. Shannon Hope, Dean's List Scholar. 
Jalencia Johnson, Dean's List Scholar. Jakinia Johnson, Dean's List Scholar. Phillips Joseph, Dean's List Scholar. Patrick Kolobwe, Dean's List Scholar. Tawanayasha Karanoga, Dean's List Scholar. Jonathan Little, Dean's List Scholar. Anteria Malone, Dean's List Scholar. Joseph Mann, Dean's List Scholar. Courtney Mann, Dean's List Scholar. Patrice Matthews, Dean's List Scholar. Tony McDowell, Dean's List Scholar. Jayla McNeil, Dean's List Scholar. Braylon Miller, Dean's List Scholar. Destiny Mobley, Dean's List Scholar. Paula Monroe, Dean's List Scholar. Amir Morgan, Dean's List Scholar. Tatawanshi Mufuti, Dean's List Scholar. Jamil Muhammad, Dean's List Scholar. Jasmine Nesbitt, Dean's List Scholar. Kike Ladamami Ojo. Forgive me, let's do this one more time. Kike Lademi Ojo. Jesus Scholar. Lakita Parker, Dean's List Scholar. Miles Pettigrew, Dean's List Scholar. Jada Pittman, Dean's List Scholar. Brittany Prayer, Dean's List Scholar. Darius Proby, Dean's List Scholar. Antronice Pruitt, Dean's List Scholar. Tavion Ray, Dean's List Scholar. Asia Reed, Dean's List Scholar. Madison Riley, Dean's List Scholar.
Carson Robertson, Dean's List Scholar. Lennon Rozo, Dean's List Scholar. Diamond Shaw, Dean's List Scholar. Morgan Skinner, Dean's List Scholar. Micaiah Sledge, Dean's List Scholar. Ramiah Smith, Dean's List Scholar. Danny Spears, Dean's List Scholar. Michael Stiles, Dean's List Scholar. Lakivia Tate, Dean's List Scholar. Adijah Urumbre, Dean's List Scholar. Shauna Van Hooks, Dean's List Scholar. <laughs> Alexis Vigil, Dean's List Scholar. Alfred Washington, Dean's List Scholar. <laughs> Ashley Watkins, Dean's List Scholar. <laughs> Stanley White, Dean's List Scholar. Kirsten Williams, Dean's List Scholar. <laughs> Thalia Williams, Dean's List Scholar. Kennedy Williams, Dean's List Scholar. Samaya Winston, Dean's List Scholar. Forgive me, it's Kennedy Wilson, Dean's List Scholar. Devin Winters, Dean's List Scholar. William Woodard, Dean's List Scholar. Tyria Wooden, Dean's List. 
Tyria Wooden, Jesus Scholar. Tyria Wooten, Deansless Scholar. Dion Ward, Word, Deansless Scholar. And as Dion accepts her award, let's give a round of applause for our Dean's List Scholars. Yeah. And on behalf of the college, it's been an honor to stand before you today, and I will now present the mic to Ms. Barnes with Hollis of Price. Good morning. I'm Principal Sandra Barnes of Hollis Price Middle College, and I, along with the Hollis F. Price faculty and staff, are proud to acknowledge and celebrate the exceptional achievement of our Hollis F. Price students who have been named to the Dean's List at Lemoyne Owen College. These outstanding individuals are full time high school students who are dual enrolled. They have demonstrated an impressive commitment to their academic pursuits by successfully maintaining both academic loads. Their hard work and dedication and academic excellence serve as an inspiration to us all. Congratulations to these remarkable students for their well-deserved recognition of the Dean's List. Ms. Sade Mack. Octavian Robinson. Miss <laughs> Deja Smith. Mr. Terrence Thomas. Mr. Landon Young. Miss Amaya Hill. And Miss Jokara Jones. Congratulations to all scholars that receive recognition on today. Next, we have another uh, recognition that we would like to give out, and this is what we call our divisional honors. So that means that the, the faculty and staff in the division has recognized one to two students that have performed outstanding, not only in class, but on campus, around in the community, and just been an overall great uh, person and they want to recognize them now. I'm going to ask for all division chairs to come up and stand over here. We're going to have Dr. Douglas Newsom with the Division of Business and Economic Development. 
followed by Dr. Charnette Dennis with the Division of Education, followed by Dr. Ashley Davis with the Division of Fine Arts and Humanities. After Dr. Davis will be Dr. Mikhail Richardson with the Division of Natural and Mathematical Sciences, followed by Dr. Richardson will be Professor Whitaker Spite with the Division of Social and Behavioral Sciences. And last but not least, we have Dr. Ding with the Division of Computer Science. Good afternoon, everyone. The Division of Business and Economic Development would like to honor two students who have excelled, not only academically, but have been good Lamorne on corporate citizens. They've been good citizens in the community and they have provided service to the Division of Business and Economic Development. So the first student that we would like to acknowledge is a traditional student in the Division of Business who has uh, been a member of the Collegiate 100, a FedEx ambassador, a member of the Business uh, Student Association, has been vice president of the Alpha Omicron chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho sorority, and has served as cheer captain for three years. This individual is Miss Eva Fondra. <laughs> The next individual that we would like to recognize uh, is a student in the uh, Accelerated Studies for Adults and Professionals program. She has been a great corporate citizen in Memphis. She's been a, uh, provided much service to Lamorne on College. She's been a member of the Business Student Association where she has served as a uh, chaplain this past fall. Uh, Without further ado, we would like to bestow this honor on Mrs. Shauna Van Hoek. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Dennis, and I have the pleasure of serving as the chair of the Division of Education. And on behalf of the Division of Education, we are proud to honor Ms. Jada Pittman for her dedication to her studies and making sure that she has honor roll and making sure that she is on these lists. a full-time job. She has dedicated herself to making her way to get to school. Even if she does not own a vehicle, she gets to class. And you saw her walk up here and get her award. So please give it up for me. Good afternoon, LOD family. I stand before you, I'm Dr. Ashley Davis, and I stand representing the Fine Arts and Humanities Division. And the student that we would like to honor today um, 
is a single mother. She came to um, LOC uh, with an associate's degree already, but as a single mother, uh, she commutes to school every day from Arkansas. And um, she's going to make history here when she graduates in a couple weeks, um, because in the music department, she will be, um, to my understanding, the, the very first graduate uh, with a concentration in music technology. And so uh, we would like to honor today and thank her for coming our way, Miss Destiny Mole. <laughs> and I am here on the behalf of the Division of Natural and Mathematical Sciences. And I did not write anything down because I can write a, two books with 500 pages each on this particular student. This particular student is a stranger to no one in this building. This particular student is in the limelight. Whenever we need a student to go out and that will perform and produce quality, we call on this student. This student has been a part of almost every single organization except for the Greek organizations that we have on campus. This includes Collegiate 100. This includes American Heart Association STEM Ambassador. This includes Meharry Wellness STEM Ambassador. This includes uh, President's List. <laughs> this includes SGA President. The list goes on and on and on and on. This young lady has um, made it a priority for her to take an advantage of every opportunity that she is presented. She has done several research opportunities on and off campus, and she is slated to go ahead and uh, do a research project this summer. So we are definitely proud of, and we are looking forward to more things to come, and we are looking forward to the day when we can call you Dr. Danielle Jacobs. proud of all of y'all. Uh, we've got uh, the division, I'm uh, Professor Daphne whitaker Spide, and I'm representing the Division of Social and Behavior Sciences. Can y'all hear me? Okay, yeah. All right, the first one we're going to give is uh, for Miss LaDonna Jones. We're giving her the spirit of perseverance. Um, LaDonna is a graduating senior. She, she decided to pursue a degree in social work because she wanted to help people and make the world a better place. As a foster kid growing up, her heart was for social work was pure. Though she faced a lot of challenges throughout her college journey, she never gave up. She started at Talladega College in 2015, but dropped out after the first semester due to financial difficulties. And she's had challenge after challenge after challenge. Lately, she has had a, uh, she has a brand new baby girl. A brand, brand new baby is having some technical difficulties. And that's why she's not here today with us. Let's give her a hand, though. All right, a second one. Uh, my esteemed colleagues, it, it, it is with great honor and reverence that we gather here today to pay tribute to a true hero among us. He is a distinguished veteran whose valor, valor and sacrifice have left an indelible mark on our nation's history. Today, we're bestowing this honor upon a, a well-deserved academic honor, not as a mere, a mere gesture of gratitude, but as a symbol of our profound respect for service and sacrifice. Throughout their illustrious 24-year career in the Army, this veteran has exemplified the highest standards of bravery, integrity, and honor. From the harrowing battlefields of wars long past to the challenges faced on the home front, I am privileged to, to present this honor to an individual that has gone above and beyond the call of duty to demonstrate the model 
of a student of excellence. This individual has spoken to several of my classes regarding the importance of having a dream and putting in the work to fulfill that dream. This individual has managed well, a well over $2 million budget in the United States Army. He has certified over 100 soldiers in CPR and comeback life-saving courses. He has had the responsibility of training and orientating new soldiers. He has supervised a medical clinic in South Korea with a budget over $13.2 million. This individual already has an associate degree in applied science. He is now pursuing a bachelor's of arts degree in sociology with an expected matriculation date of May 11, 2024. Let us celebrate together in gratitude and admiration as we salute this victory for their extraordinary contributions to our nation and for our unwavering dedication to the ideals of freedom and justice. May their example continue to inspire us all to strive for a better world where the sacrifices of our veterans are always remembered and honor. May I present to you Antonio Bright. Similar to uh, Dr. Richardson, um, our yeah, honor student actually did no need to write. Actually, we can write down too many things that she has been so helpful in almost everything. Actually, tomorrow we're gonna drive to Nashville for our uh, BCEO C Square code competition held by Apple, and she is our primary coding pro programmer, and actually she also the visual designer. And she actually helped us on almost everything, like our December, last December's workshop, open house, and everything we need to recruit students, like we need to show the yeah, welcome students, and actually sometimes they also tutor for most of our courses, because we have very limited number of tutors. And besides that, she did an excellent job in her all coursework, almost always highest grade in all courses, and with a GPA 3.9. And uh, we are so sorry to see her go. And she already found a job. Actually, she has worked for had a part-time job for the past few years. She already got a great job at a Chicago-based financial corporation. And uh, we actually, the only thing we are worried right now is how could we find some replacement for her? <laughs> so yeah, let me introduce uh, our nominee, yeah, Ms. Chido Chimpentini. <laughs> Oh, our list, every list. We're sorry for seeing Here you go, yeah. Thank you, division chairs. Again, congratulations to the scholars. And if you did not win and you were expecting to win, don't hold your head down. There was some very tough competition. I just want you to know that we see you, we are proud of you, and we are, again, excited to see what you're going to do when you stay here in Memphis and make Memphis a better city. All right, next we're going to have uh, Dr. Lisa Lang, our Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, to bring us a word. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. I am elated, I am excited, and it is with great pleasure that I congratulate 
each and every one of you on being an honor student. You did that. You soared. And I want you to know that the institution could not be prouder of you. And your perseverance is an inspiration to everyone, in case you did not know. And at this time, the Office of Academic Affairs has a token gift for you honor students. But guess what? Not just the honor students, but every student in attendance today. It is a book entitled A Time to Shine, written by Laurie Robinson Hayden. And it discusses how to believe, advocate, and invest in yourself, overcome adversity and setbacks and several other things. And to top this off, students who send her a 250 page word summary about what you learned from the book, you have an opportunity to participate in a $1,000 scholarship endeavor for the 2024-2025 year. Again, congratulations. And I want you to know that our dedicated faculty, staff, and administration are here for you promoting student success. Note, today's students are tomorrow's trailblazers. Again, congratulations. Good afternoon. Congratulations, scholars. We are so extremely proud of you all today. Uh, there is an old saying uh, that we stand on the shoulders of giants and also our ancestors. Well, today we want to honor some of those ancestors that helped bring to fruition Lamorne Owen College. We will undo an unveiling of the Owen College Monument to commemorate the past uh, history of 162 year plus history of Lamorne. So join us as we exit here between the Hollis F. Price Library and Steel Hall, we'll have the unveiling of the monument. Dr. Christian, are you here? Plans Christian? Not, we will still meet in the president and Mrs. Uh, LOC will do the unveiling, a very short ceremony right after this. So we'll processional straight to the library, between the library and Steel Hall. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna have Miss Jessica Pender, our reigning Miss Lemoyne Owen College to come up. And she's gonna lead us and we're gonna sing along with her with the alma mater. May I have May I have everyone stand for the alma mater?
Let us remain standing for the benediction. Now unto you, dear God, our Redeemer, the one who has blessed this program from start to finish. We go forth in faith knowing that you are indeed the keeper and sustainer of not just our minds, but our entire beings. And we leave this sacred space knowing that you will never depart from us. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a reception next door in Brownlee 31, immediately following the monument dedication. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do not move. Go back to your seats, please. Ladies and gentlemen, do not move. Go back to your seats. Thank you guys so much. Go back to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 